Welcome back, Tim and Joy join us and we're talking about the crows and how you can help with the problem. And first off, I want to start with you, Joy. Talk about this group that has formed here in Terre Haute to kind of move the birds in a different direction. Well, we have a group, it's an all volunteer and it's an independent group. And we just gave it the beautiful name of Terre Haute Crow Committee. <laughs> and that's what we're dedicated to. But uh, this is uh, quite a task. A huge project. We have, it's going to be every day from mid-October to mid-March. What we're dealing with is not our local crows that live here year-round. Mm -hmm. uh, they are here and we kind of get used to them. They get used to us. <laughs> but what we have happening now is we have crows that migrate here for the winter. They think okay. we're there Fort Lauderdale and they come this far and there are five or six cities that have had this trouble mm -hmm. for at least 20 years and the problem seems to be growing but the five of us that started out mm -hmm. still have it and we've had estimated populations of 50,000 up to 80,000 extra wow. crows that's, that's hard, hard to live with but we have a group now that's going to help and the city uh, under Mayor Bennett is helping we had a grant from the Wabash Valley Community Foundation to get started, and uh, several uh, local businesses are helping. And what we need most now is we need volunteers to help us. We have about 25 or so, but when you work seven days a week sure. and you need probably 10 groups, if we could have them, that's what we'd like. And consistency is key here. Well, people, you have to follow instructions or you just chase the crows in a circle. And the man to follow the instructions from would be Tim. So tell us about the method behind the madness with okay. getting the crows to move to a different location. Well, we're using pyrotechnics and we teach our volunteers how to use them safely. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we do is we take positions up. See, the crows actually uh, roost in the city. Then they leave town during the day. The majority of them go out in the farm fields as far as 20 miles away to feed. Mm -hmm. Then they come back in and they stage in the evening, uh, uh, an hour before dark, at the outskirts of town or the edges of towns, and then that's where we want to hit them mm -hmm. to try to change their patterns and uh, change their behavior. So then we have, if the more volunteers we have, the more positions we can man so that they can't get around us and get into town. And we've been at it about two weeks now. and. Uh, we're seeing some changes in their behavior. And that's good news to report. Absolutely. And you'll be doing it from now until mid-March. Yes. Wonderful. Well, let's talk about volunteerism. What can folks do? Well, we have the, the numbers they can call mm -hmm. and uh, a website. And uh, they just need really, if even if you don't call or anything, if you will show up at City Hall in the parking lot, if the weather's decent, inside City Hall at 5 o'clock any evening from for the next five months, mm -hmm. we're going to be there. Okay. And we can train you, give you the safety equipment, and position you where we need you. And we, we, you know, we go out with them the first time and make sure they're comfortable and everything. We need uh, people with pyrotechnics. We need spotters that just watch the birds and tell us where they're at. So we need any, any help would be appreciated. This is a team effort, so we need as many volunteers as possible. Let's take a look at the information up there on your screen. Of course, volunteers are needed. The number to call, this is the first step, is 2442709. You can volunteer with the pyrotechnics and meet at 5 p.m. at City Hall every night until dark. They're going to be out moving the crows to a different resort town. We want to get them out of Terre Haute. Or you can simply report on large numbers of crows. And if you have any questions, you can call that number as well. Again, that phone number, 812-244-2709. Thank you so much, Tim. Thank you so much, Joy. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll be right back. Stay with us. You're watching News 10 at Midday.